Members of Greenfield-based fire performing troupe Connecticut Inferno put on a dazzling show displaying a wide range of skills before a surprised audience at the Harpet Amherst. Making their public debut, Connecticut Inferno thrilled onlookers as they ate, spun, spit, and danced with fire behind the outdoor deck. Reasons for their enthusiasm for fire was as diverse as the membership of their performance troupe. Why, what's, what is it for you? What do you do, boy? Because I can't dance worth a damn, so I figured I'd do something that would at least get me out there and moving with the music and expressing myself and all that. And then why, so why fire? Like, why add fire to the mix? Why not? <laughs> it just makes things a lot more interesting and it, it, it's, it seems to like add an element of danger, even though it's usually pretty safe. Right. But it looks really, really good. So would you say people at heart are pyromaniacs? Definitely. Everyone Definitely. loves some fire. Group organizer and Greenfield resident Amanda Silva, however, added some words of caution. As an experienced fire eater, it is not as easy as it looks. The, the hardest part about learning to eat fire is simply when it gets to the like point of your nose and it suddenly looks like the sun and then that internal instinct kicks in if that's not food. <laughs> No, 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 it's, it's the, that's not food, I'm not supposed to eat that run, um, and you have to just get past it. Uh, some people can muscle through it quick, other people, it can take a very long time to get over. Well, I had one girl that wanted to learn fire eating, and um, she was doing just fine up until she actually went to do it um, for her second time putting the fire in her mouth and she slightly inhaled a little bit of the flame. Obviously playing with fire should never be taken lightly, even professionally trained performers risk death. Is that something you can learn? I mean, I, I don't know if I try it at home. During a crowd favorite segment of the show, performers spit mouthfuls of fuel into an open flame that exploded on contact. The fire breathers who specialize in this act are referred to as dragons. Among the highlights of the evening, Kinetic Inferno pulled brave volunteers from the audience for a lesson in fire breathing. Uh, I'm Greta Shaver. Um, I live in Northampton. You, just, you can take as much as you're comfortable with. Uh, the more you do, the bigger the boom's going to be. It actually doesn't taste like much of anything, it's just weird feeling. Yeah! Woo! That was awesome! Totally awesome! Addicted? Maybe. Nice. Maybe. 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 Once again a warning, playing with fire should never be taken lightly, even professionally trained performers risk death. Don't try this at home, kids. For Gazette Net, this is Adrian Feliciano, intern and dragon. <laughs>